think you could be right, Ron. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> just have to get the. Uh, my ears were burning. I think my wife's talking about me going on the golf trip next week, and I think she's just uh, saying a few words about me because my ears just lit up, Ronnie. When they're talking about you, you know when it. Here it is back on the centre of the ground. And yeah, we're talking about the, the, the aggression off the footy. They're going to have to control that, Ron. Both sides. Yeah, both sides desperately need to control their emotions off the footy because it could be costly in the final analysis. This is. Uh, well, the side that kicks the most goals in this afternoon will win the game. Adam Gladke prepares to bounce the ball. Swinnison's back in the middle. Vac does the ruck work against her. That's Shelley. Ducks it down beautifully. Does Shelley. Oh, that's too high, I reckon. And the free kick got to go against the Geelong here. And that's against Marty Winnison. And no doubt about it either. Out of the centre. Little fellow McKinnon chips the ball to half forward. Here comes Brogdon. Hand passes that one to Jones. And a bit of pressure, Sydney. He has to kick in a hurry. Back it goes to Dave McKinnon. He's tackled by Winnison, but he gets the kick in the wall. Oh, Davey! Oh, and, uh, and you're pretty happy with Davey? I, right. thought you, I thought you were talking to me. My name's Dave. I thought it was Davey. You know, Ashley Davey's taken Ashley a scream up. was a good one, wasn't it? And, uh, well, good play there by Dave McKinnon. Got out of the centre twice and you can't do better than that. Two out of two is not bad average, Ron. Yeah, certainly. And uh, good camera work there from our director there. Our uh, roving cam man had a bit of a late night last night. And... Uh, was a little shaky on that occasion. And Fair uh, and flat out getting back here. <laughs> That's how late the night was. Here's Davey punning on the right foot. It's drifting away to the left hand side. I think he might have snuck it in. Wait on this. He might have got this. Yeah! Oh, he's pretty happy. Oh, oh, oh. Look for a kick, he said. That's how you put one through. And actually, Davey bangs through the first goal of the second quarter for Carrillo. And they go. Six points in front. Yeah, good start to the quarter. And. Uh, Kenny Bone and uh, Tassie Hodgson just having discussions here on the boundary line as we see Karaya Village, the news agency, second corner scoreboard, Karaya Devils now, 3-4-22, they lead those fabulous North Geelong Magpies, 2-4-16, in the round 18, GDFL match of the day out here at the Devils playground. Okay, thanks to... Ray Edwards out there, he's been a great supporter of this video and of the GDFL in general and of local sport in general too. Good on you Ray, stick with us son, we're trying to give you a plug. Up they go, that gets the knock down towards Winners and knocks the ball in front of you. Chant for Mostert, hand pass, was headed in the direction there of Baker, didn't get that far. Stack on the mill, umpire says a ball up as Brogdon gets off the ground and uh, we'll have a ball up decision just 10 metres in front of the, uh, well, the centre square decision with the North Long Slot in attack, Ronnie. Okay, good work, Swampy Mars again. Got it down to him, Brown. A little bit, uh, a little bit slow, but oh, hey, two of good work. Sit it off the car. It's a chance. Yeah, but I tell you what, this Eves. guy can play. Eves feeds off. Good work there to a teammate in the. Uh, it's like Patrick down at half back. Kicks up there, looking all oh, two in front. Lost the footy, but Kearney butters up well for the Devils. Goes to centre half forward, and the leader of the band in front takes the edges of Jesma. Well, let out that far, he took the mark in the centre. He came from centre half forward. The yeah, McNamara goes up on the air at the base of the pack. That looked like Shelley, was it? A bit of an up and under towards. Uh, well, half forward, we'll call that. Baker lost possession. Here comes Elzinger. Hand pass out wide. Goes past Winnison. Hand pass back from Harbin. Intercepted by Edridge. Edridge swings round. Left foot kick by Edridge. Up goes Howard in front. It's well fisted away by Skoko. Did well. Angie Skoko in the off hands and it's out of bounds in the Korea right forward pocket on the shell club side of the ground that's the commentary side of the ground and this game is gonna be a beauty certainly cookie and that's gonna be a telling uh, result I would suggest between those two there in Skoko and Howard on the result of this game here this afternoon boundary throw in umpires found the free kick goes against the Ashley Dave he got at the top there of uh, Craig Goose aren't they having a great duel Eves takes the free kick and plays on pumped off it up goes Winnison and takes a good mark out of half back Marty Winnison with the bandage on the right knee he's got the blue bandage on the right knee that's pretty good oh, stuff Winnison goes up towards centre wing Cousins takes the mark chips it into Swampy here comes Swampy Marsh a little kick from Swampy Marsh goes towards half forward too far at the top there of his teammate he was looking for the player there Howard. Howard, but he couldn't take the mark because too far of his head and Skoko grabbed it and give it off the back. Yeah, and now an opportunity here for the oh, Baker. Oh, boy, oh, he plays on. Baker, 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 Baker goes bang, bang, bang. A bang, a boy. Put it through. Here come the Devils. <laughs> yeah, great goal and poor defensive football from the North Geelong side. Coming across the attacking side a little bit early for mine. 
No more than going across the attacking side, but look, you've got to head for the fence, not head for centre half back. Well, is, is that a fair call? It is. You've got yeah, to Solomon Max played a bit of footy. Now maybe the target was there, but he should have put the ball out in front of him towards the boundary line, not towards midway between half back flank and boundary line and half centre half back. Well, because he let he let the player in and didn't he make any mistake? He did not. It's four goals, four twenty-eight to two four sixteen. Karaya lead by two goals. On the Karaya Village News Agency scoreboard. Johnny Cousins been busy again at half back, and I tell you that's what, that's a push. That's a push. Hartman must take the free kick run. Without a doubt, and uh, yeah, ever reliable. And this is one footy again. Well before the ball was within the 10 metres, Hardiman, the ever reliable, as D Cook suggests, in front, common sense prevails. Nicely done, Jamie Money. Gives it to Swinnerson by hand. Swinnerson's kick is an absolute atrocious kick for Timmy Swinnerson, one of the best kicks in the competition. He's put it out of bounds against the breeze, would you believe that? Not a good kick. Looking for Alford, but wasn't a good one at all. Now, Karaya through Darren McNamara puts the boot in and uses the breeze to the utmost. Up he goes back and takes a beauty in front of his opponent there. The tall fella Robbie Walton couldn't punch it away. Simon back now tips the ball back towards Tetlow Wing. Up they go. Tetlow's on the ground, can't take the mark. Gathers a ground level, does Danny. T -t Tetlow, he goes to teabag in towards center half forward. Long kick towards oh. Burns. A Burns comes out, lays a tackle, play on as the call. Umpire's letting it go. Good decision, good umpiring, I reckon. Here come Karaya. Into the centre marsh, gathers it, gives it to the pacing Cootie, the Prime Minister's brothers in all sorts of trouble. He gives it back to Shelley. Shelley goes back to Cousins at centre wing, and Cousins goes with right foot towards long, but not a good kick. Oh, get back, back drop the absolute plum put him. Poor effort, Simon back at ground level, working hard. Oh. Ashley Davy, then he's been pinned for holding the ball, and that was pretty tough. Oh, very tough indeed as we see the ball cleared now on the outer side, or should I say member's side of uh, the Devils playground. Good football there from North Geelong's Willison because that's the defensive side. Now they can start to bring it back because they've got it out of the danger zone. Good call, Ron, good call. As we wait now, ball back into play. Willison this time gets the ball over the back, looks there for uh, the axe. He was well collared, taps the ball back from whence it came, but he's gone straight to Shelley. The eggshell, the eggshell, the eggshell! Oh, he's kicked it long. Kicked it long, I sent a half back, I reckon. Well, the breeze, very tricky out here this afternoon, <laughs> going right across the ground. And Cookie, you may be right, it might not be worth five, it may be worth three because... Yeah, uh, two or three, Ronnie, I think. The ball, it dragged right across into the forward pocket, about ten metres from the uh, Devil's goal. It is favouring right of stream, but it's also across the ground as well. Boundary show, here we go, here's a chance, North Geelong, uh, almost a free kick there to Benstead, play on as they call, hand pass over the top, big good one. To, let them not to go to hand pass the finish, Jamie Marnie's up high, can't mark, Cousins doing well at half back, taps the ball back to Baker, who's BOG, Baker's hair passes a beauty, finds his team, but put him under a bit of pressure, because Winterson laid a good tackle there on the, the uh, player there in Mostert. Carayo had the numbers though, they've got the numbers, Adam Kent, Superman, thrown off the footy, well done Lord Geelong, as well as a hand pass out, but Cousins in his head, beautifully as Ronnie claps his hands, I don't know if he's got cheese in it or breadcrumbs or whatever, but Cousins goes back to half forward, getting back with the flight of the footy there, and Davey can't take the markers, tap back to Dashley Davey, little kick wasn't in, well wasn't any good at all, and Swenison's there to relieve the pressure for North Geelong. Gee, I love the one percenters that the Carayo boys are using, the little yes. tap-ons, it's good unselfish football, I've got to congratulate Tassie Hodson down there because it's creating a lot of opportunities for his, their teammates just tapping on the right time. And in uh, my head, Cookie. Good team footy as we see now. Opportunity for, uh, that looks like Swinnison. Kick well smothered off the right side of his boot. Now, oh, Swampy recovered well. Chips it over the top. Now McKinnon, he's been busy this quarter. Up to Davey in the forward pocket, but he's a bit outnumbered there by the big tall man in Simon Vack. Ball off hand, out of bounds, around 25, 30 metres from the Devil's goal. Ronnie Ashley, Davey, been an exciting player this first half. Played very well for mine, and we see now, ball back into play. Good work there from the big Ruckman. Swampy, Swampy, Swampy. Swampy over the top, oh, but I oh, oh, Jones. If it had a carry there to Baker, the kick was all right, Ronnie. Yeah, it was Darren, <laughs> Darren, Mac Darren, did well. hey, it was Darren McNamara that got the ball over the back of the pack. He's yeah. Ruckman, he's sent half forward, he's, he's on a rover. And he's a good bloke too, oh, same fella. Him. Love him dearly. One of our mates, Darren McNamara, but the, the kick wasn't bad. If Baker could have run it, he couldn't run it. Because Sid Jones put the body in very well and took the mark. And he just said it's in a half back. Chips out towards Orford, who might have staged for the free kick and might have got a bit of experience oh, there, I'd suggest. That yeah. looked like pretty soft to me. Very but soft. Uh, Neil Orford takes the mark. Just uh, all centre wing, I guess you'd call that. Goes towards Burns at half forward. Burns might have oh, given away a free kick here. Shepherding. 
It's gone against Karai. Oh, that is a bad decision. Umpire Adam Gladke. Okay, Adam, you're too far behind there on that occasion. I'd suggest and Shane Burns takes free kick. Midway between centre wing and half forward play for North Geelong. Burns' kick at uh, drop short. Oh, great mark uh, running with the flight of the football. I think you'll find it's young Alan Maroney on the left foot. Looks to the lead there of Boothwood. Can't trap the leather. Back of the pack, Alfred gets around one tackle. Quick kick to the forward pocket, but the eggshell is there. Happy to see the ball go out of bounds, and we'll see about to throw in about five metres from the North Geelong goal. Ten minutes gone of the second quarter. Fatty Bootless by Rockies. Correa to lose Locksmith. And I tell you what, fuel your trophies, keys, locks, safes, problems. Give Rocky a call. 24-hour service out there at the Locksmith. He sets the Karaya Village News Agency. That 28 by 16 on the Karaya Village News Agency. Scoreboard is not back into play. Here they come. North Geelong Boothroyd over the top. Gives it Elzinger. Flying shot on the left foot, Elzinger. Flying shot on the left foot, Elzinger. I think it's all right, mate. This is the goal. Magnificent kick on his left foot, Elzinger. And well played, Lex Boothroyd. Knew he couldn't control the footy. Over the shoulder when he heard the call. He heard, he heard, he heard the call. And bang, it went through. It's a goal. Elzinger kicks a beauty. Even Lord Geelong, they needed that one. The play's been against them, Brady. A very important goal kicked there by Troy Olsinger. Yeah, again, probably a little bit of Karaya coming out in him. Rodney Booth threw it. Good team footy over the top, unselfishly. Setting it up there for young Elzinger. As we see, six points to the margin. And a whistle on play. It's against Karaya. The young runner was in the square. Ooh, well. And, uh, well, the water boy it might have been. Swenison uh, goes to half forward. Marnie rows the pack brilliantly. Chips the pass in towards Boothroyd. Can't take the mark. Here comes Neville. Taps the ball away. Well played, Ricky Neville. He's done very well back there. Gets a bit the master. The Mozzie. The Mozzie's in trouble. Claimed high. Should have got a free kick. Play on the call. You paid a couple worse than that, I don't mind saying. He comes back to Baker at half back. He's in trouble. Jamie Marnie. In goes Marsh. In goes Marsh. Ties it up to Swampy. Was not going to let that get away, Ronnie. You like those tough guys, oh, yeah, eh? Yeah, I love him. How'd you like Marsh and Burns running at you in a dark a, alley? No, oh, thanks. I'd have pinned oh. Marsh then for holding the ball. OK, well, you're oh. wrong, Noel, because you're a bad umpire. Here comes Baker towards half forward. The ball not the way from Robbie Walton's up. Can't mark. Here comes the axe. Burns. Burns runs through the centre. Steadies. Away goes Burns. Gets past Brown. Having a good duel. He punt kicks it out wide. Ronnie, you can take the call because there's no one out there for not too long, is there? No, there's not. As we see, though, the boundary line gets in the way there. Opportunity gone begging and Kenny Brown... Bar- Bone, the runner, he's not happy because there's an opportunity there for the Devils to run the ball down that wing. And boundary line beats the players. 12 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. And we've got a ball game here, Cookie, because there's only four points to margin. Up goes Shelley, brings the ball to the ground there for uh, Karayo. Cooting gets it across with a hand pass. It was a pretty hot one, too, towards Boyle. He's in trouble. Orford's in more trouble. He stays for another free kick, and he's got another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, there. yeah, it was just there, though. I mean, he's using his experience very well, Alfie. Good on you, son. He chips the ball into half forward. Uh, well played by Cousins. Stuck the ball away. Looked a certain. North Geelong Mark but Cousins showed a bit of guts and went at the footy pretty hard they've tied it up <laughs> down there Adam Kent at the base of that pack there with Jamie Marnie it's a ball up decision as Jared Benstead gets to his feet at centre half forward for North Geelong I tell you, Johnny Cousins doing very well at half back here this afternoon and uh, running off there and doing a great job as we see this Mostage. boy Mozzie again very strong in defence quick kick over the top now Brown oh didn't want the footy but I tell you what the X does Forces the ball forward. Tetlow. Quick hands there, Tetlow. Unfortunately, hit the man on the chest too hard. Bounced off, and there's a bit of pressure on out there at the moment. It was Kelvin Cooling and Sid James just exchanged a couple of unpleasantries. I don't think uh, Kira have much, much luck with Empire's decisions, Ron. None whatsoever. Don't have much luck at all. Thought Mark Brown could have got a free kick there for a similar decision we saw a couple of minutes ago there for North Geelong, but umpires not prepared to pay that one. It's going to be a ball-up decision. Jared Benstead, you can see in screen there, number 43. He's been a, a, a good contributor early stages. Shelley goes up, knocks the ball to the turf. In goes, uh, was that Ashley Davey? It's a free kick to uh, Carrillo anyway, just picking him up here as he comes away. The mozzie. The mozzie it is, Moss, that uh, goes out to Baker. Up from behind, almost took a beauty. He's got pace to burn. He's tackled, he loses the foot. He got the hand pass away to where towards Boyle. Kicked up the ground by Jamie Money. He's got the pace. Boyle's got the body, though. Uses it well. Knocks it away from him. Picked up there. Looks like uh, the Benstead. Left foot kicked by Benstead towards the goal. Out the cross the face of goal. bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Still in play. Here oh, comes Keating. Well done. The Prime Minister's brother, Cal Keating, says, 
Rose. How about the GST now as he gathers the footy and he tumbles it towards the centre wing. Dig it in your bum, Keating, as we see now. Opportunity for the Axe. Picks it up and drives the ball back. And that man, Keating, again, doing well in defence for the Carayo side. Goes to the centre of the ground. Over the top. Good work there, Robbie Walton. The idea was there. Couldn't make good contact. Oh, Whitteson ran into a strong forearm of Swampy Mars and is penalised for trying to do too much. Good decision up by Adam Gladke. It was a good decision. He had the chance to hand pass. He took him on, Ron. He lost the, he lost the battle. Marsh takes a free kick, kicks it in towards Howard. Up he goes. Can't touch him up, but he knocks to the ground. Here comes Elzinger at the back, ground level. Uh, Wait on this one, umpire's going to ball it up, it is 15. Bill Mickey Howard to get in front! Oh, big, don't be too hard, Ronnie, he had four to beat there. He had four to beat, he was yeah. one against four, he brought the ball to the ground pretty well, I thought. Obviously, Ronnie Brown and I played in different leagues. Bounce down, up they go, Walton goes up, couldn't get the hit down, it comes through the little bottle there, Moss it. The Mozzie has a flying shot on the left foot up, goes Howard, can't mark, at ground level, Davey. His kick is smothered, he tried another one, kick off. The butter! The butter! The butter is running through! It's a goal! He slipped that one through, Ronnie! Well played, Ashley Davey! A flying shot smothered, went back and got it again, a flying shot missed it. And he had support from Etridge, and Etridge has put it through. And I think that's a pretty handy goal. To the Devils out here at the Devils Playground. Yeah, very handy goal indeed, Cookie. About 15 minutes gone in the second quarter, and uh, yeah, Chairman Select is looking a bit more comfortable for the Correo side in Tassie Hudson. Correo 5 434, leading off Geelong 3 422 on the Correo Village News Agency second quarter scoreboard. And we've gone 16 minutes on the Rockies 24 hour last bit time clock. The bounce down to the centre is tapped back by Brogdon. Wasn't a bad one either. Got across to Alford. Alford goes towards half forward. The bounce is cool for Tetlow. Here comes Curdy. Got too much pace. For Tetlow, he hand passed over the top or settled and sent for Tetlow. He almost grabbed the hold of it there. He comes uh, Brogdon. Brogdon's hand pass intercepted by a very good player in Mostert. He's been good at half back. Gives it the eggshell. And here goes Shelley towards centre half. Well, towards the wing. Up they go. Davies up, takes oh, the mark, plays on, tips it across the marsh. Here comes Swampy. He came too high, I reckon Jamie Marty. Play on as the call. Hand pass comes back to Davy. He's thrown off the football. Could have got a free kick. I reckon that's a square up, Ron. That's the second one. It was hell without the ball. Yeah, yep. yep. Mr. First got the easy second, and Ashley Davey, you've been a very good footballer for the Cryo side here this afternoon. He's playing well. Yep, drives it long in front this time, How Good boy. Did well. Shouldn't have hold the ball though completely. As always, oh, ridden into the ground. But no free kick ball forth up coming. That would have been my call, Ron. Well, you know, he was put down, Mickey Howard. Well, he had the ball on the way to the turf, and yes, he was uh, ridden to the ground, but I thought he was on the way down anyway. I think that's a good decision. Ball up, 35 metres out on goal. Carayo kicking with the slight breeze. Comes up the head bridge, going to kick his second goal in two minutes. He goes big! He goes big! He goes! Yes, sir! Bang, it's another goal to the batter. Butter kicks his second goal, and Carayo go further ahead. Yeah, great goal, Butter. Great character, great courage, and I'll tell you what, the Devils are applying themselves very well at the football. They're disciplined. There's no more of that funny stuff. And they're concentrating on the game. That's why they're in front, because they're playing this great round of football here at Round 18. Junior Val match of the day. And it's very crucial this time of season, I would suggest, Dean Cook. Correa Village News Agency scoreboard 40 points, plays 22. Ronnie, we've seen them lose two grand finals to North Dole in the last two years. Are they more disciplined now? They're playing the football now. They're not trying to do what they did in two grand finals and lose it. They try to win the game. They are. Okay, thank Rock you very much. Cor Rockies Correa Village News Agency. News Rockies. Locks oh, shit, out of the centre it comes. Anyway, right foot kick towards half forward. Potato up they go. It. Up goes the big fella, Milton. Can't take the mark. Etridge, he's been alive this quarter. Can't get the hand pass away. Goes back and gets it. Dummies this way. Goes that. Goes on the right foot. Tumbles the punt. Nowhere to go to it. Here comes Baker with supreme pace and a bit of courage too as he ran through three players there. Baker over the top. Wasn't a bad kick either. Up goes Shelley. Couldn't take the mark. Hand pass. Comes out towards Hardman. And Hardman can believe the pressure or can he? Too high. <laughs> he had a little bit of the old... Uh, Oh, I see him come on a bit of fall here, and fall he did, and just cop a little high tackle. Very fortunate for mine, Stewie Hardiman. I thought myself very well played. Saw it coming and did the right thing. I thought a bit of experience. He chips it out to Brogdon, who takes Mark and half back. Brogdon goes towards Vac, who's been pretty quiet. Knocked away from Vac, in goes Boyle, knocked away from Boyle. Now the, the shepherd is pretty heavy as the, the hand pass from Orford comes to Swinnerson, who has a bounce and goes left foot towards forward. So Bethroyd's out of the lead. Uh, and Rodney Bethroyd got 97.
on the board and in front of Ricky Neville, who's done a terrific job on him till half time. Simon. And Simon Vack has clashed with Swampy Marsh on centre wing here, uh, out of sight, and is hobbling. Well, that's the David and Goliath of it all, Swampy, the uh, little fellow, Simon, the big fella, but uh, he is hobbling, but uh, not much that you never could do about that low because the pass was pretty good, and uh, here's Boothroyd lining up, and they've just used the bruise to his advantage. Has it drifted a long way at the finish? He's off line one point only. Gee, that bruise is strong across the ground. When you thought it was to one end, I think it's more across than that. Uh, and uh, Rodney Boothroyd kicks his... Look at that, though. Have a look at the shot on screen. That's how you kick a football. Taught in step. Superb, Rodney Boothroyd. That is why he's kicked 97 goals for the money for season. OK, Neville brings the ball back into play for Carrillo. Out wide, will they touch it? Oh, he could have let it go through the North Geelong player. He left it to grab hold of it and uh, would have been a free kick. Had he not done that, we'll pick him up. Who was that player, Ronnie? Yeah, no, I'm just uh, reliving that lovely action the shot kick, there. You like that kick, did you? Oh, superb. Well, I'll stick with the call. Up they go. Memories oh, of Shelley did well over the top. Well, there was Watson. Uh, Walton actually got the hand pass over the top. Here comes Scooting in the back pocket. He's in a bit of strife. He wants to hit for the battery line. Yeah, well done, there. And Tetlow was there to put pressure on him. Cooting has had the better of Tetlow. Been too quick for him, Ron, I'd suggest. And it's out of bounds in the forward pocket. Watch it long going left the screen, but in a little bit of strife at the present time. Certainly, and uh, uh, back to Cooting. Showed a lot of courage and character down here in defence for the Cryo Sarters. Alfred, yeah. out of the air, Good he's work. offline, he's bit, look, couldn't knock him for that, grabbed it out of the air, slung as he kicked, and it's a bit of luck in those situations, but the luck wasn't with him and it went out of bounds on the full. Okay, ball now with Ricky Neville, the full back for the Cryo side, a long bomb, it's about 80 metres, the door there, odds are against you there, the Baker boy, Simon back, takes a very nice overhead mark, one of very few here this afternoon, plays on quickly, the lead, door Tetlow, couldn't hold it. Sandwich between, uh, well, that was full of boil and gel Curdy, but he butted up well. Tetlow kicks it right across the face of goal. Oh, Burns used his body well. Put uh, his opponent so on that so occasion. Adam Kent. Adam Kent. He used the body well, too. That was well, the tough meeting, the tough, wasn't it? Well, they both uh, had eyes for the ball, didn't they? Yeah, good stuff. Good, honest, hard stuff. Nothing dirty in that. That was good stuff. Good footy. Over the back, Carrillo knock it out the wood. Well, nearly to half back, Marsh has a chance to run to the footy. Taps it in front of him. Bit of trouble here. In comes Burns. He can't pick up the football, though. Comes back out to Ashley Davy. I presume I'm impressed with him. Can he get the footy? Ashley Davy chips it across, and he looks like Mick O'Toole takes the mark. The hand pass to the Baker boy is not bad. And the Baker boy, who makes better bread, goes down towards half four. Jason Stewart's on the ground. Can't take the mark. Brings it to turf. Here comes Edridge. Left foot kick into the pocket. Unfortunately, not a good one for the Baker. No, not a good one at all. Skoko butters up well for the Pies. Looks to pass to Vic there on uh, half-back flank. But the bouncing ball, a cruel cool one for Ivan Pasvic. And we'll see about his throw in. Just short of the commentary position on the outer side. In between centre wing and half-forward flank. Correa doing the attacking. Is, uh, good work there from uh, Robbie Walton. Got it down in the direction of the Baker boy who was swamped by Jared Blinkstead. Umpire Ed Darren Santos Pareto said, give it to me, fellas. And we'll have a bounce down. OK. Late stages of the second quarter. And I'll tell you what, we've got a ball game here, Cookie. And just to save him abusing us on a Monday night, the Queen of the West, the replay that was Stewie Hardman got the ball out of the fence, not Angie's go, go I just had to put the glasses on him. They do look a bit similar. Uh, a free kick being paid here to Paul Baker. Bullshit. OK, thank you, Ronnie. I've had the glasses on him for five minutes. And uh, the free kick going to Paul Baker here. Does that amount... Is that, is that for sale, that stuff you're selling? OK, here comes Baker. Centre wing, Baker with the freeze, uses it well too. Spears the kick in the half forward. Not a particularly good one. Up goes Pastovic and takes the mark. I suppose that's hard even do, is it? And Ronnie, away right? goes. Oh, 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 oh you're right. Wide. Looks what are you on? <laughs> Looks for Sid Jones. It bounces wide of the Sydney Jones. Oh, oh. The coach of the North along Magpies. And you can never sell them short. 23, almost 24 minutes gone. Rockies. 24-hour uh, locksmith out there at Carrillo Village as the ball comes back into play and here comes Dave McKernan with a left foot kick to half forward. Thank you very much and that man go go again. <laughs> no, but it was Hardiman and uh, <laughs> David Cook's just about choked on his hot dog and I've got to tell you viewers, yep, Andy Skoko's wearing 25 and Stewie Hardiman's wearing number 10. <laughs> back to the footy as we see, very congested passage of football here. Whistle on play, Adam Gladke. 50 metres out from the Kiraya goal. Time clock ticking away. Time on. Into the second quarter. And the margin is around about 12 points. 24 and a half minutes gone. Second turn. 
Boundary umpire puts the ball back Ooh. into play. It's out there. It's about half forward, if you don't mind. 18 points to the margin. Could yep. 40 plays, 22 run. That's 18. Yes, correct call there. It's really good. For and uh, the wind is uh, picking up a little bit here, Cookie. Look at the crowd here. Oh, he's muffling his hair up a bit there, the boy. Look at this bloke. He, looks like, he, looks, he makes Danny Southern look like a good-looking fella, doesn't he? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> here comes Karaya towards half forward. Cousins is a chance. Laying on top of the ball is James. Umpire got no option to put the ball this one up. Surely there's too many on top of the footy. And I think we'll have a ball up out in front of the... Uh, what we call the big inside of the ground run? Yes, yeah, certainly, Cookie. And uh, well, the roving cam is picking up all sorts of shots in this afternoon. I think the boys might come down Monday night and look at the replay. Okay. See themselves on telly. Up goes Walton. He knocks the ball to the ground, but it's knocked away from uh, Cousins there, who was running out for football. It's out of bounds again on the far side of the ground. That is the defensive side of the ground, the pavilion side of the ground. Uh, and Correo at the moment in control of this game as Whitteson goes up and knocks the ball further forward. Cousins knocks it back from whence it came, taken away from him. Hand passed out wide. Here comes Burns, and he goes for North on towards half forward, looking for Vax. Yeah, but beaten on that occasion, Simon Vax, Philip Borg, ground level, working hard. It was Brogdon, who's had very few touches here this afternoon. So he's now Neville Queen Bowl. Good support, Cal Cooney, who's Blame been one well. of the better players. Goes to the uh, centre half forward or back and half back position. Philip Boyle, he's had a bit of a dirty day, Phil. As back his opponent. Oh, Billy, a great grab. Play on, there. play on, play, play on, on the call. call. Maroney gets it out wide. Well, got it to Brogdon. Brogdon, a left foot kick around the body. It's swinging back, it's swinging back. Did Mick Hotel get there? I don't think so. I think it's a goal. Oh, magnificent goal. Russell Brogdon into the bruise. Did Brittany bring that back brilliantly with the bruise? Well, he's a left footer, Cookie. Don't take anything away from the youngster. Uh, Brogdon, yeah, nice goal into the bruise. And Robbie Bolton comes off the ground for the Correo side. Just waiting to see who comes on. Darren Shelley now will take the centre bounce against, I would suggest, Neil Alford having a run on the ball for the Pies. Well, I would suggest that Darren Shelley shouldn't be off the ground at any stage. They don't want him to ruck, put him in the back pocket, in our back or something. Don't take him off. He plays with a bit of vigour and he plays with a bit of vim and he plays with a bit of... Get out of the way! He's head up he goes. The back knocks this one to the ground. Almost taken out of the city. Cousins is a chance. Can he gather the footy? He does. He loses it in the tackle. Uh, might be a free kick pay You here. weren't listening. Oh. Simon Vack wears 44. Okay, Neil Alford you. did the centre bounce. Yeah, well, Alfie, you're not talking to me, Alfie. I said he wouldn't do something one day, and he got two weeks for it. What he did, he's not talking to me now. I'm not calling him too often. Bounce down, up goes Shelley. Shelley does the ruck work against the North Geelong ruckman, and knocked down by Shelley. In goes Adam Kent, lays a pretty hefty sort of a tackle there with his hip and shoulder. All legal, good stuff there, Superman. Mark Brown gets up the bottom of the pack and hands the ball back on the umpire. Whoever Ronnie may want to call him can bounce the ball. Yeah, and Adam Kent has done a lot of hard work there in defence for the uh, Devils today as Mark Brown was well collared and yeah, a little tough but uh, a little slow on getting ball to boot and is penalised for that. Nice tackle. Troy Elzinger. Interesting duel between those two. Elzinger now, the youngster. It's a good half tough contest, Ronnie, isn't it? Good half tough it's a ripper. contest. Elzinger, though, he's gone to the outer side, which is defensive, and I'm uh, not real happy with that, but he's found Whitteson. Whitteson goes into the corridor, but, oh, that man, Cousins, who's been brilliant at halfback, takes the ball and brings it straight across the attacking side of the ground. Uh, looking there for Swampy being held. No, it's Mickey O'Toole. Doesn't yeah, matter. got to be a freaky. Ben said to all over He's all over him like a rash on a bad set of knackers. Fair nickum. A bad set of what? Sorry, Cookie? <laughs> oh, you must dear. have missed it. Rocky's <laughs> Correa, but he's locked with tone clock. Shades we going 28 minutes. If that wasn't a free kick to Mick O'Toole, I'm not here. Bounce down, up they go. Shelley does well on the ruck. Two knocks, the ball of the tip was actually Baker. The little fellow did the ruck work. <laughs> Gee, you don't look like him, Baker. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, if I was Darren Shelley, I'd tell you, I'd punch you later. He's all right. I'll the all right. the siren's gone for half time. Pretty entertaining first half, Ronnie. You, gee, there's not much in the game. Well, there's not a lot, Cookie. There's only 12 points, but still, it's uh, 12 points more that the North Long have got to kick to take the ascendancy in this game. First half honours, clearly, in my opinion, to the Carrillo side as uh, Bobby Smith, the president of the Cryo Footy Club, invites us over for a bit of afternoon tea here at a half-time Devils Playground, and we appreciate that, Cryo Village News Agency. We also appreciate them because they bought us a second quarter, which shows us, Cookie, what the scoreline is. It's 6 4, 40 points, Cryo. North Geelong 4 4, 28. In that quarter, Ronnie, we saw Cryo kick four goals straight. 
Launch along, kick two goals straight. So six goals only for the quarter. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, there's the guest video sign there. Got Sean Cannon. That's that's the elderly bastard up there with the with the, uh, with, the <laughs> with the hat on. He's a frightening sight, is he? Had a little bit of dark alley. Six four forty points on the Garibaldi's Village News Agency scoreboard at half time. Four four twenty eight. The game is lively at half time. Goal kick is Correa. I've got Ashley Davy one. He's been very impressive. Miko Miko Tools got one. Paul Baker has got one. So two Troy Motto and two to Mark the Butter Edwards kicked him in about two minutes in that second quarter. North Geelong's goal kickers, one to Russell Brogdon, one to Troy Orzinger, one to Ivan Pastorik, and I've got a goal down here for Rodney Boothroyd, who's kicked 97. We said he kicked 100 legs. You've got to go for it. You've got to get three more in the second half, and that's coming up very shortly. Good on you, Cootie.